Hi, this is Crystal Vaness with Mac Kiteboarding. So in this video, we are going to start at the very beginning. We're going to talk about what kiteboarding is, how to get started as a kiter, and how learning the kite will impact your life and your travels. Okay, what is kiteboarding and why is it awesome? Uh, kiting brings together a lot of different sports. Uh, from board sports to water sports to knowledge of wind. So if you're a snowboarder, a wakeboarder, a sailor, a parasailer, a surfer, a skateboarder, you have what it takes to become a kiter. Uh, when I started kiting, I had <laughs> basically no board sports experience. I was very unathletic and very scared by you know, the open ocean and having a board attached to my feet. Um, and what really excited me about this sport is if you have the capacity to learn and if you're excited about learning a new sport, there is no limit. Uh, there's no age limit or size limit or gender limit, anyone can learn how to kite. So not only is kiteboarding open to anyone, you can do it anywhere where there's wind. You can do it on land, on water, or on snow. So it's really a sport that you can take with you anywhere. Alright, so if you're excited, you're stoked, you're ready to learn to kite, now where do you start? Uh, the best thing to do when you're ready to kick off your kiteboarding lifestyle is to contact your local kite school or instructor and book some lessons. So learning the kite takes an average of three days, so you'll start learning how to fly a trainer kite, so it's a smaller kite that gets you comfortable with how a power kite moves and how to get the power out of it. Uh, once you're through with that, you'll go on to a bigger kite, the ones that you'll typically see people riding with, um, and go through safety systems, how to fly that kite, and then they'll get you in the water and get you comfortable with what, what the kite can do and how much power it can get you. Uh, just drag around in the water for a while, and then uh, you'll get aboard and it'll teach you how to fly a kite and ride a board at the same time. It's easier said than done, but you will get it if you persevere. And then once you finish with the, with the basics, once you learn how to kite, you can start learning how to jump and fly and do tricks and all the things that make me love kiteboarding. The beauty of kiteboarding is it has a huge impact on your life and how you travel. Um, once I started learning to kite, it changed my whole trajectory. I started booking trips to totally different places I never would have heard of before I found out about kiteboarding. Uh, and your trip has purpose because you're not just going to lay on the beach or go, uh, go do like a one-time excursion that's hopefully a lot of fun, but it's not a skill that you're building up. Um, as you continue to travel and kite and build up your skill and ability, it is the most rewarding thing. You're connecting with the most wonderful people all around the world who are just like you, who found something that they love and that they're passionate about and are chasing it around the world. Um, I've been from Asia to Central America to South Africa to Europe uh, to Canada and the US with kiteboarding and the list of places I can go to will never really end. So um, I hope that you learn something very valuable in this video and I hope to see you on the water somewhere. So thank you for listening. This has been Crystal with Mac Kiteboarding.